Hi, welcome back to Natural Beauty with Melanie. I'm here today to do an empties video. Um, sorry, I don't have the best appearance today. All I have is like a little light foundation on a little lip gloss, but pretty much bare faced, but that's where I am this week. So it is what it is. You know, I always include products I use in the bath and the products I use on the kids. And this is one that I'm not like very proud to show, but they use this Mr. Bubble Foam Soap an orange cream. Somebody gifted this to them. They gifted them this and another scent or color. But the ingredients disgust me or like gross me out, I should say. Water, butane, a propellant, stearic acid, propane, a propellant, trianamoline, I don't know what that is, fragrance, lanolin, and then D and C orange number four. Yeah, but it's free of parabens, phthalates, and sulfates. So anyways, I let the kids use it, but it's not something that I would purchase for the kids or really probably purchase. No, I wouldn't purchase it for the kids. <laughs> so here's another bath product, one that I actually used. Bath and shower spa salts, peppermint eucalyptus from Pure Haven Body. So they were just bath salts, which I don't know about you guys, but every time I use bath salts, I feel like they're pointless in my bath. And I, I'm like, I don't think I like bath salts. I don't know. But then I found out that this had an expiration date of October 2018. Everything seemed totally fine with them, so I'm not really that worried. Or I'm not concerned at all, actually, but I just kind of had to laugh when I saw that they had expired like two or three years ago. But they're done now. So anyways, I don't even know about if Pure Haven still sells bath salts, but they just smelled nice. They were like pink and they have dead sea salt and different essential oils and Himalayan pink salt and stuff very pretty and had a nice spa-like scent, but um, didn't really do much for me. I had to shut the door because of the construction going on next door. All right, next up we have the ingredients body oil. It's like a little gross on the cap, sorry. That looks gross to me, grosses me out. But um, this was from a recent Beauty Heroes box. I think, not September, but I think August, which featured the brand ingredients. Um, I did not love this body oil. It had an, they said like an organic creamsicle scent. So it was orange vanilla scent. The scent was a little bit like sweet for me. So I didn't love the scent. The pump was a little bit aggressive for me. So I felt like every time I pumped it in my hand, it would like hit it and shoot out. Um, I don't know if that's just like user error or what. Um, and then the, I didn't think it absorbed well. I would put it on my legs and stuff after a shower. And sometimes I would notice like an hour later, if my legs were like against each other, they were like sliding off each other and stuff. It really bugged me. So I would not repurchase this. I did enjoy using it. I like body oils, but um, I wasn't really a big fan of this one. So not a repurchase for me. Next up, we have the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. You may have heard about this before. Sorry, I have cats behind me rolling something around as they're always doing in a video. Um, so I used this um, hydrating accelerator, which is a moisturizing facial mist. It does have a nice scent. People had said before like marshmallow. I don't know if I necessarily smelt that, but I liked the sprayer on it. I did like the scent. Um, like I've said before, mists I feel like are kind of, I'm not convinced that they are necessary in my skincare stuff. But that being said, I like using them for the experience and like the scent and everything, that's nice. I just don't know if it really does anything for my skin, but I like to use them. So I will use the mists I have and then kind of reevaluate if I want to spend money on other mists. But this would probably be a repurchase. I liked it well enough. I wasn't obsessed with it. Like um, from what I've heard, a lot of people really, really love this product and can't do without it. I don't necessarily feel that way, but I enjoyed using it and I would consider repurchasing. Here I have a little travel deodorant. Kaya Naturals, the Takasumi Detox Charcoal Deodorant, Black Oak and Bourbon. I think I got this at some point from like a detox market or credo order um, to like maybe reach a certain amount or something. I do like the scent of it. It's definitely not a feminine scent. I mean, it's Black Oak and Bourbon, but it has a nice scent to it. But I mean, not a big deal, but towards the end, it started to, like I wasn't able to use it up fully because the kind of top like broke off and everything, but it was right near the end. So this worked out for a nice little deodorant. 
I felt like it was effective. I didn't have any issues with it like not working on the deodorant level and I liked it. I mean, yeah, I got this from Credo. So it was $10 for this, which now thinking about that is kind of ridiculous because I'm pretty sure I can get a full size deodorant for 10 bucks. I actually can't believe, I wonder if I really spent $10 on this. That's what the price tag says, but you never know. Um, so I liked it, but I'm not repurchasing another travel size deodorant for 10 bucks. Um, but if I did find this, I would repurchase it because I did like it and it smelled good. And they have a lot of different scents, I believe. Oh, I'm so excited to tell you, I finally finished the Hanua Hawaiian Skincare Mehalani Moonlit Glow Balm. I opened it in December, 2020. So it's about 10 months that I had it going. I didn't use it regularly for 10 months, but this thing lasted forever. It took me so long to finish it. Even when I dedicated myself to finishing it in its entirety, and it was my night bomb, I think for like spring, summer, and like into the fall a little bit, um, it just lasted. And it was, so it's like a, obviously you can't see it now. It's a bomb. So different texture than a moisturizer. It was greasy and thick, I felt had a nice blue tansy scent, but I think if I had used it fall going into winter or just all of winter, it might've been exactly what my skin needed, but it did feel heavy and greasy to me. And there were occasions where I put it on like before I was leaving the house, not to really, I mean, showered and then put it on and went to my mom's to like get the kids or have dinner at my mom's with my kids and stuff. And it made my face shiny and everything. So um, it was heavy, but Perhaps if I had just used it for a winter balm, it would have been great. I don't know how I feel about balms. After this, like I felt like this was too much um, for me. So I don't think, I wouldn't write off that I'd never buy this again, but I have a lot of moisturizers anyways, so I won't be looking to buy any moisturizers, but I don't know if a balm consistency is what I'd like in a moisturizer anymore. Like I think oils are my preference. And I like lotions too, but I think I really kind of started to really settle on liking oils best as my moisturizer. So this is a really pretty product though. Um, and I do, I do recommend it. And I'm so happy it's done because it felt like it lasted forever. All right. So on the Hanua Hawaiian skincare topic, um, I have their Li Hao Refreshing Face Mist. And this is also a blue tansy scent. And... This also came from like December, 2020. So I'm trying to finish up all the Hanua products that I have. Um, so I would use this and like some others of this size whenever I go away on vacation or um, occasionally I would like dabble with them and then put them away again back in like the linen closet where I keep my stuff. So when I brought this out to use where it was at, maybe like half full to like to finish, I was really pleasantly surprised by the scent of it and I enjoyed using it. Um, like I said, it has a nice blue tansy scent. It's actually really nice and really unique. And I notice it more now than I did initially. So I would repurchase this and I do recommend it. If you're, if you like blue tansy, I think you might find this quite interesting. Um, with this one, the only thing that bugged me with this mister, it was really faint, which I like, but it was weird. It almost seemed like it had like a little dot and all these or like no dot in the middle, but like sprayers everywhere. So I don't know, I had to feel like I had to do some weird spraying to get it like to cover my face. I don't know if it was just this particular one or if there was some type of clog or you know what the story is, but um, you know, we'll see. But uh, I do, I really do like this face mist. I recommend it and um, I think I would repurchase. So nice face mist. All right, Indie Lee stem cell serum. This was from a clean beauty box subscription box before it went out of business. And, um, this one was like $135 value for this serum. And my thoughts on this are, so it was unscented. So to me, it's kind of boring. Um, when things are unscented, that's just me. I, I love the whole, you know, like I said before, if you ever watch any of my things, I love scents. I love that as like part of the whole experience of skincare. So when something is unscented, it takes away a whole like layer for me sort of. But apart from that, I felt that it was, had a really nice slip to it. 
um, it, and it absorbed really well on the skin. I would never repurchase this at $135. I don't know that I would repurchase it anyway, but the price I think is, I mean, um, I imagine, I like to think that the ingredients are, there's a reason that it's so expensive, but this just, I don't think it's necessary to spend $135 on a serum. Um, so while I enjoyed using it, it wouldn't be a repurchase for me. And I think the price is kind of ridiculous, but again, I don't know if the ingredients warrant it. So I enjoyed using it, but not a repurchase for me. Um, but it was fun to try. <laughs> I haven't really, I used Andy Lee's toner at some point, their CoQ10 toner, and I didn't love that either. So I don't really have like a lot of interest in the Andy Lee brand after trying two of the products and not really liking either of them. But that's just my judgment so far. <laughs> so I had purchased some candles from Sunny Ruckus. Um, Marie, um, she, she used to have a blog and the color green and she has um, a YouTube channel. She's been around for years. I've only been watching her for like a year, year and a half maybe. Um, but she started her own line recently of um, soaps and body oils, um, facial cleansing oils, candles, and some other things. So I had bought, I had made a purchase um, when she launched a few months ago. So there was two of her candles that I used. Um, they come in like mason jars and they have these little tags on them. And one of them was named Beach Fire and one was called, <laughs> it's upside down, Flat Day Fun. And my, what I want to tell you was I really liked both of these candles. Um, I thought the scents were like really unique and kind of complex in both of them. And I was pleasantly surprised with them. Um, sometimes I would go into my room like, you know, hours later or the next day. Oh, we have a guest star. Okay, here, why don't you come sit on my lap so you're not going to be rubbing against the camera. Come on. Oop. Okay. <laughs> um, so I have my little friend Ava now. Um, so sometimes I would walk into my room and I would be like, oh, something smells really good in here. And it would be the candle was no longer lit or I would have it on my night table and it smelled really good. So I thought the scents were really nice. I thought they lasted long. I thought the price was reasonable. Um, so I was really happy with these. So if you are in the market to try new soaps, new candles. Um, I really like Sunny Ruckus and I have a good experience with them. I'm using one more of her candles now and she's come out with even more candles. So probably like around Black Friday or Christmas maybe for a gift if somebody wants to get for me, it, not you guys, <laughs> like my husband or somebody, um, I'll probably recommend or like give them like a little wish list, and I would have a few of their candles on uh, my wish list. Okay. Next up, I have the Earth Harbor Marina Biome Brightening Ampule. So this was also blue tansy. I didn't realize how many like blue tansy things I used in the past two months. Um, this was from, I think my first Petty Vore box. So that would probably be like last December. So also this was getting older. And so I initially tried to use it as a facial oil on its own. And I felt like it was really watery and it like didn't do it for me. So I didn't like it the way I just, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of it. So I went back on the website to do some more reading and, I, and really it's supposed to be something that kind of amps up your moisturizer already. So I decided to start adding it to a Coco Kind facial moisturizer I was using at the time, which I still am. It's their texture smoothing cream. And so what I would do is I would like have the smoothing cream in my hand and then do like five drops of this. In the mixture of the, the scent of the texture smoothing cream is like really fresh, kind of like green and fresh. And then adding in this blue tansy scent, it was just really nice. The texture was nice, the scent was nice. So I ended up really liking it. Um, but I don't think I would repurchase it. I would be excited to try more of this brand like through Petty Vore or something um, or any other box, but I don't know. It's not top on my list to explore more. And I don't think it's probably just not necessary to have something to add to an oil. I think an oil or a cream will be enough. So probably not on my repurchase list. However, I did enjoy it. All right, let's see. Evan Healy. Okay. So this is a duo I got from Petty Vore Box, maybe like six months ago or something. It's the Evan Healy Rose Geranium Facial Tonic Hydro Soul and the Rose Hip Treatment Facial Serum in Rose. That's what they look like. So this was a duo. I think it had like a $10 value. It was 
not a high value. Um, and when I initially tried it, the month that I tried it, I didn't love either of them. But when I came back to them months later to finish them and use them in full, they grew on me. I never really loved the rose geranium scent. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, I had to spray this into my hand because it was pretty aggressive. Um, however, I ended up really enjoying this like rose hip serum. Um, I thought it felt like thick on the face and kind of like luxurious or just like a nice feeling. And I like the smell of rose hip. I tried a sample of the rose hip um, serum, I think it was from Pi, and I really like that. And now I've tried this rose hip serum and I like it. I've heard that the Earthwise Beauty rose hip, I think it's Rosa serum, is like a next level apparently. So um, it uses like different parts of the rose hip, I guess. So I'd be kind of curious to use that, try that in the future maybe, but I ended up really liking this serum. I don't know a lot about Evan Healy, um, if they're like a more affordable brand or what, but um, perhaps if you're somebody that likes rose hip, it might be a nice serum to try. All right. Hands to Heart, so this is Gold Fat and MD, Hands to Heart Anti-Aging Brightening Hand Treatment. I got this from a Petty War box and it was fine. I only use a hand cream on my nightstand, so I use it each night before bed. It had like a nice little citrusy kind of clean scent. Um, I brought it for travel sometimes, like if we were on a trip, I like to have the night table, like the hand cream on my night table. And then I ended up just using it to, to finish. And I liked it. It wouldn't be a repurchase. It wasn't anything special to me, but it was fine to use. That's kind of my thought. So yeah, that's my thought on that hand cream. All right. I think I have just a few more products here. Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. So this was in my project pan. So happy this is done. It was kind of a nothing product to me. It didn't have a particular smell. It didn't do anything for my skin. I didn't particularly enjoy using it. It was just something I needed to get rid of because it was on my project pan and I am making myself not open some new masks until I finish other masks. So this was one of them that I wanted to finish and I would just kind of like force myself to use it so I could get rid of it. So I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't repurchase it. And I'm happy there's no expiration date on here because it's probably a hundred years old and I probably had it trying to remember it's probably it's years old so I'm sure it's past its expiration date but it was fine but um it's done and I'm happy and even though it's so small it took me a while to get through probably because I just dreaded using it and avoided it all right we have the be kind be kind products exfoliant visage face scrub I got this I got two of these in a petty war box and I did not love it it's sorry there's like fur flying because Ava's sitting right here um it's thick. It's like a, if you've ever had, I think it's called Membrio. It's like something that comes with cheese plates. It's kind of reddish. It's quince paste. Anyways, it looks just like that. The texture to me feels like that, but with sand mixed in. So I believe it has, like the writing is so small on this. I don't even have vision issues, but when I try to read this, um, it makes me feel really old. Like I can't see. Um, or just vision impaired. I can't see distance, but I wear contacts. Um, hibiscus and cranberry seeds face scrub for soft and refreshed skin. I don't know about you, but, and you probably can't see that very well, but like the writing is just not the easiest to read on here. <laughs> um, yeah, so thick, like, and then it would leave this film on your face after, which I just didn't love, so. I still have one more of these that I haven't opened and I will make myself use it at some point. I exfoliate maybe like once or twice a week for my face. Um, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this. I don't recommend this. <laughs> no, I think if you're looking for a physical exfoliant, there's probably much better out there. Yeah, okay. And my last sort of last product is the Shama Nudi Seaweed Toner from Petty Vore. This was fine. The sprayer was way too aggressive, so I had to spray it into my hand and pat on, which is fine. I do that a lot. Um, didn't have a particular scent. Scent was fine. Toner is kind of another thing to me. Like, do I notice my skin do anything in particular after I put on toner? No. 
ultimately I could probably be somebody that just uses a nice face wash and uses like a nice serum and a nice moisturizer and be done with it. But I like to like use the steps and try these things I get. Um, but this would not be a repurchase for me. I, it wasn't anything noteworthy. It was just like, I tried it. I used it. It was fine. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was just fine. So fun to try. I don't really know anything else about this brand, Shamanuti. So I appreciate that I got to try it. And I just have a few, oh, well, this is something, um, this was just some gross thing I had kicking around, like a Vaseline lip therapy for like original. I swear somebody, some of my, one of my mom's friends, I think actually gave this to me, um, or gave it to my mom and she gave it to me or something like that. And I had it and it was old. So it got like gooey and I ended up just using it as like a foot cream because it was like, it had not like turned, it wasn't bad, but it, it was just. I wouldn't want to be slathering Vaseline on my lips these days. So I just used it on my feet and like would put socks on and finished it that way. Lastly, I just have two travel products. I didn't use many, just a shampoo and a body lotion from traveling. That is everything. So I love doing empties videos. This one's actually, I didn't feel like I had it wasn't filled to the brim, but I still feel like there was like a lot of things to go through because it was a lot of small things. And I love like getting rid of things. Now I can recycle them and stuff, which is great. So hope you give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful, click the subscribe button so you'll be alerted for when the next video comes out. And let me know any comments or anything you have about any of these empties, any thoughts you have. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.